What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve a system of equations that has three variables and I'm going to do this using the substitution method. Okay, normally if you have an option the elimination method is a little bit easier. So if you want to know how to do that I'll link that in the card above and the description below. But here we're going to use the substitution method, right? So here's our three equations. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is just solve, just take one equation and solve for one variable. Okay, and preferably you want to pick something that has a coefficient of 1 because that way you're going to avoid having to use a bunch of fractions, right? So here let's use this very first equation and we're going to solve for this y since it has a coefficient of 1, right? So let's bring that equation down. So we have negative 2x plus y plus 6z is equal to 1 and I want to solve for y, right? So if I want to isolate y, let's get rid of this minus 2x and this 6z. So we're going to add 2x to both sides, and we're going to subtract 6z from both sides, right? So those cancel out, they kill each other, and then on this side, we're just left with y is equal to 1 plus 2x minus 6z. Okay, now the second step is just going to be taking what we just solved for y over here and plugging it into these other two equations. Okay, so I'm going to, instead of rewriting it, I'm just going to drag this one over here magically, and I'm going to do the same with this one. Okay, so these are the other two equations that we didn't use at the very beginning, right? So we're going to plug in what we got for y into both of these equations. Okay, so if we plug it into this first one right here, we're going to get 3x plus 2 times y, but remember, this is y now, right? 1 plus 2x minus 6z. So that's what we're going to plug in here. 1 plus 2x minus 6z uh, plus 5z is equal to 16. All right, so let's simplify this. So here we're going to get 3x and then distributing this 2 in there, we're going to get plus 2 plus 4x minus 12z plus 5z is equal to 16. All right now just combining like terms uh, what do we have here let's see we have a 3x and a 4x so that's 7x we have a negative 12z plus 5z that's negative 7z right so minus 7z and then we have this plus 2 right here there's no other constants on this side so let's just move it to this side with the 16 so uh, let's subtract 2 from both sides so those cancel out and then here uh, 16 minus 2 is 14 right so then we get 7x minus 7z is equal to 14. Okay, so this is one of our new equations right there. Now the other thing we have to do is plug this into the other equation, right? So we're going to get 7x plus 3 times y, which y is, again, 1 plus 2x minus 6z uh, minus 4z is equal to 11. And then we're going to get 7x. Uh, let's see, plus 3 plus 6x minus 18z minus 4z is equal to 11. Okay, and then again, combining like terms, we have a 7x and a 6x, which is 13x. And then negative uh, 18z minus 4z is negative 22z. And then lastly, this uh, constant, this plus 3, we'll move it to the other side again, so it's with its other constant buddy. So minus 3, minus 3, uh, 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. Okay, so we get 13x minus 22z is equal to 8. All right, so here is our second new equation. Okay, and now this will hopefully look a little bit more familiar because now we just have two equations with two variables or two unknowns, right? So we have this one over here, the 7x minus 7z is equal to 14. And this one right here, 13x minus 22z is equal to 8. Okay, and I'm going to scroll down just a tiny bit more. Okay, so we're just left with two equations and two unknowns. So in this case, we basically just have to do the first step one more time. So we just have to pick one of our equations and solve for one of the variables. So let's use uh, this first one right here since it looks like it's a little easier to work with. All right, so we're going to use 7x minus... 7z is equal to 14, and we just have to solve for one of the variables, let's just solve for x, all right? So to isolate x over here, let's get rid of this um, negative 7z by adding 7z to both sides. Those cancel out, so then we're left with 7x is equal to 14 plus 7z, and then uh, we'll divide both sides by 
7, right? So those cancel out, and we're left with x is equal to 2 plus z. Okay, cool. So now that we know what x is equal to, right, 2 plus z, we'll take this and plug it back into our other equation right there. So then here we're going to get 13 times x, which is now 2 plus z, and then minus 22 z is equal to 8. All right, then distributing this, we're going to get 13 times 2, which is 26, plus 13 z minus 22 z is equal to 8. All right, now just solving for z here, uh, 13 z minus 22 z, that's equal to negative 9 z, and then taking this 26 and moving it to the other side, oh, 6 minus 26, those cancel out. So then we get negative 9z is equal to 8 minus 26, which is negative 18. All right, so then here, uh, to solve for z, we'll divide both sides by negative 9. So then we get z is equal to positive 2. Okay, finally, we found one of our answers. Z is equal to 2, All right? So now that we know what z is equal to, let's plug it back into one of these equations that has a z in it, right? One of those two, uh, so we can solve for x. Okay, so let's just use this first one again. So we're going to get 7x minus 7z, but z, as we know, is 2, is equal to 14. So we get 7x minus 14 is equal to 14. Uh, here we'll add 14 to both sides, right? Those cancel out. So then we get 7x is equal to 28. And then here, dividing both sides by 7, we get x is equal to 4, positive 4, right? So here is our other answer right there for x. Okay, so we know what x is, we know what z is, now we just need to figure out what y is, right? So to do that, let's go back to one of our original equations, since those actually have a y in it. Okay, so you can use any of these three. Let's just use the first one, since I think it'll be a little bit easier. So uh, here we're going to get negative 2x, but we know that x is 4 now, right? Uh, plus y, plus 6z, and remember z was... Uh, 2 is equal to 1. So then here we get negative 8 plus y plus 12 is equal to 1. Combining like terms, negative 8 plus 12 is uh, positive 4, right? So then we get y plus 4 is equal to 1. So then here we get that y is equal to negative 3. Okay, so then here is our third answer right? So x is equal to 4, y is equal to negative 3, and z is equal to 2, right? And if you wanted to write it as an ordered triple, right, as in x, y, z, like that, it would just be 4, negative 3, positive 2. Boom! So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.